hello guys welcome again to this channel of ours and uh, today we have a lot for you in store so in case you have not subscribed to this channel of ours kindly do so by subscribing and liking the video by doing so you will help this channel grow just kindly subscribe and also like the video so today we delve into discussion about uh, my analysis our good analysis about why Raila Odinga might not win or secure the AU chairmanship job yeah we all know that uh, Baba is a pan-Africanist he's a nationalist and um, he can if he's given that opportunity for African uh, African chairmanship AU chairmanship he can bring in the spirit of unity that Bob Marley sang Africa Unite or Ted Dan sang United States of Africa so we need uh, if he can win it will be better for us but now let's look at few points of why he cannot he will not it will be hard for him to secure the seat point number one William Ruto can pretend that he wants Raila to join the AU but he wants to humiliate him completely he wants him to go to the AU and fail and then he Raila will have been finished completely and he will be nowhere to be seen because Ruto wants peace in his rulership he doesn't want any problem uh, we all know how cunning politician Ruto is we all know that another point is um, the voting structure of the AU if you know we have the northern countries the others we call them sub-saharan countries the, the northern countries which are mostly religion wise they are uh, Islamic states eh? they are very united and they work together and they work in a better way than the sub-saharan African countries which are disunited very jealous of each other and uh, they cannot be united for a common cause <clears throat> that's why if there will be a candidate from the northern part of africa or from the any of the islamic states i believe uh, it would be very difficult for Ayla to get the votes that he deserves to win the AU chairmanship it will be completely difficult unless the AU will come up with a chart, a chart that says that each region should have their time okay like let's say the SADC, the ECOWAS and the ESC we in alternate this seat which is I think it's too late also it's not yet in place that way and even if it's in place that way if we just get a Muslim uh, contender who wants to buy, he will still garner the votes of the Northern, you see, and some of these Southern, of these Sub-Saharan African countries, of which I see it is also a challenging for Ayla. It will depend which kind of candidates are, candidates are there and geographically. Yeah, if they're from the North or from East Africa and they're still Muslim, they will still win you know you can argue that religion does not play a, play a role but it plays in africa religion determines a lot of things also yeah another thing is that uh, the AU needs a lot of funding for you to campaign across the countries so i believe maybe baba has a way of i know he's a billionaire but those resources are too much so if he will have support from anywhere else we don't know but that is a challenge also for him and we wish him well we hope that he will um, get this seat and he will change he will turn tables in africa he will bring africa to the union that we have deserved i believe Baba has a bright future ahead that he will liberate the young ones. Now you see like in Kenya, it has happened dramatically that he has been replaced. He was fighting for the people. But now the young people have taken the mantle 
our Baba. They are the official people who are opposing the government, who are keeping in check the government. They are called the Gen Zs. They are doing it well than even Baba and his team used to do. So let's wish Baba well. If it comes 2027 and he wins that, I don't know it's 2027 or 2026, if he wins that seat of AU, it will be good for Africa. Not for Kenya, for Africa it will be good. Thank you guys and uh, see you in our next video.